Hey there, is today your first time here? Or maybe your first time in a while? If so, maybe you're wondering exactly who we are and what this church is all about. Well, we'd like you to know that we're a group of ordinary people who are on an amazing journey together following Christ. Our guide is the Bible because it's the divinely inspired Word of God and it will never take us in the wrong direction. Along the way, we hope you'll see that we are welcoming and spiritually passionate and that getting to know you is a big deal to us. We know that the road is rough sometimes, but we'll work really hard to bring you practical and relevant messages to equip and encourage you through life's ups and downs. We want you to know that we care about this community and we believe that it's our job to make it a better place. So no matter who you are or where you've been, we're glad you're here with us today. And we hope that you'll join us on our journey, following Christ and living out His plan for us. So welcome to church. I can't wait for that great day when our Father shall call us home. Welcome ye, my child, into the everlasting kingdom that I have prepared for you. Hallelujah. How many of us are in anticipating that great day when our Father shall call us home? Shout some glory, shout some hallelujah, because we are anticipa anticipating that great day. Hallelujah. 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 God is truly amazing. Hallelujah. And so my friends that are on the platform, if it is that you need someone to pray with you, a link will be sent in the chat and also on Facebook on the comment section. Somebody will reach out to you and to pray with you. At this time, I invite Deaconess Inora McLean to come and to lead us into our opening prayer. Hallelujah. Let us bow our head. Loving God and our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your wonderful and holy sweet name. Lord, we bow before you today on this your special Sabbath day. Lord, we give you thanks, we give you praise because of what you have done for us. God, at this time we come to you, I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you will pardon us and you will forgive us of all our sins that we have created, that we have sinned against you. Lord, I pray that you will just create in us right now a clean, clean heart. And please, Lord, to renew your right spirit within us. God, restore unto us the joy of your salvation. 
Father God, we pray in the name of Jesus that you will just discharge every plan of the enemy right now. Lord God, I pray you will tabernacle with us. Mighty God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will send forth your guardian angels from heaven to just encamp around your people today. God, I pray you will bless every heart that bow before you. Oh, mighty God, even those on the Zoom platform right now that is listening. Oh, God, I pray you will bless them. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you will bless your woman servant. We place you. We place her right before you because, Lord, you are the great high priest. And I pray, mighty God, that you will touch her mouth, touch her hands, touch her feet. Oh, mighty God, open up your words clear to her, mighty God, that as she speak, mighty God, it will touch our heart. Father God, I pray for the leader. I pray you will send your angel to watch over him. Mighty God, just be with us now and may your choicest blessings be upon every heart right now in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Deaconess McLean, for that prayer. Give here to my word, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Hearken unto my voice, will I cry. In the morning, I will direct my praise to thee. At this time, we invite the praise team to come forward as they lead us in a session of praise and worship. Hallelujah. 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 I was glad when they said unto me, come, let us go into the house of the Lord. It is such a wonderful privilege for us to be able to worship and to bow down and to lift up the name of Jesus today. Can we just stand and exalt the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, you are from everlasting to everlasting and you never fail and we worship you and we bow before your presence and we thank you that it is because of your sacrifice while we are here today. We worship you not out of obligation, but out of love for you, mighty God, and we exalt you in this house. You are from everlasting to everlasting, from the rising of the sun unto to the going down of the same you are worthy to be praised and to be exalted we declare that you are king over our lives and you are king over the universe you are excellent and sovereign hallelujah as i come into your presence past the gates of praise into your sanctuary where we're standing face to face i looked upon your countenance i see the fullness of your grace now i can only bow down and say i 
into your sanctuary till we're standing face to face. I looked upon your countenance, I see the fullness of your grace, and I can only bow down.
glory. It is because of God. God is the reason why we are here. It is because of his grace and his mercy why we are standing here today. And it is because of who he is, hallelujah, why we stand to lift our hands and to magnify his name. It is because of where he has brought us from that we can say to somebody else, I know someone who can take away all the pain hallelujah i know someone who can provide for every need it is because of what he has done for us why we can recommend this man christ jesus to someone else hallelujah hallelujah i can recommend my lord to any man i can
Hallelujah. 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 I love him because he first loved me. Hallelujah. I love him because even when I think that nothing is going on, God is in my corner. I love him because even when I see defeat in front of me, he gives me victory over and over. I love him because even when I was deep in sin, he saw need and purpose in me and he he, he saved me from all the things that I've done wrong. I love the Lord. Hallelujah. I love the Lord. Hallelujah. I love the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he first loved me. Hallelujah. And it is because of that why we can tell him how holy he is, how righteous he is, and we can express freely that God, there is no one else like you. There is none to compare to you. There is none who can give you counsel. There is none who can fathom what you're going to do next. You exist all by yourself. You are sovereign and righteous and you are in control of the entire universe. And as the one that you created, mighty God, we can pause and we can bow and we can worship you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bow down and worship Yahweh. We bow down and worship Yahweh.
worship Yahweh 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 upon you, Yahweh, Yahweh, for you care for us, Lord, Yahweh is his name, Yahweh, oh, we put ourselves aside, Yahweh, Yahweh, oh, Yahweh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. At this time, we turn our Bibles as we invite our scripture reading, which will be taken from Luke chapter 12, reading from verse 16 to 34. And I invite Sister Choi Powell to come and to lead us into that reading. Our scripture reading comes to us from Luke chapter 12, reading from verse 16 up until 34. And Sister Choi Powell will read for us. Shall we bless the Lord? I invite you to stand with me and turn your Bibles to St. Luke 12. We're reading from verses 16 through to 34. Please follow with me. And he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater, and there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, soul, thou hast much goods laid up 
for many years. Take, take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then, who shall th then whose shall those things be which thou hast provided? So he, so is he that layeth up treasures for himself and is not rich towards God. And he saith unto his disciples, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what shall ye eat? Neither for the body, what shall ye put on? The life is more than meat, and the body is more than raiment. Consider the ravens, for they neither sow nor reap, neither, which neither have storehouse nor barn, for God feedeth them. How much more are ye better than these fowls? And... Which of you, which taketh thought, can add to his stature one cubit? Verse 26. And is, if ye be then, if ye then be not able to do that thing which is the least, why take ye thought for the rest? Here endeth a portion of God's holy word. We honor it by saying, thanks be to God. Thank you so much, Sister Chai Powell, for reading the scripture reading for us. We continue to exalt our God. Bless God. At this time, I invite Sister Eloise Wilson as she will give us a special selection. Empty and broken, I came back to him. A vessel so unworthy, so scarred with sin, but he didn't despair, he started over again, and I bless the day. He didn't throw the clay away Over and over He molds me and makes me Into his likeness He fashioned the clay a vessel of honor I am today, and it's all because Jesus didn't throw the clay away. He is the potter. And I am the clay, I'm molded in his image, he wants me to stay. When I stumble and I fall, and my vessel break, he just picked up those pieces he didn't throw the clay away over and over he molds me and makes me into his likeness he fashioned
a vessel of honor. I am today. And it's all because Jesus didn't throw our broken clays away. Many times we have been broken. Many times we have been destroyed. But we can say we are a vessel of honor. Hallelujah. It is only because of Yahweh. It's only because of that wise one. That one that sees us when we're in our broken space. And can come to us and mend us together again. Hallelujah. God is just an amazing God. In spite of our situation, we still see fit to mold us together again. Over and over, we fashion us in something beautiful than we were before. God is amazing. We want to say thanks to Sister Wilson for that beautiful song. We pray God's continuous blessings upon your life as he continues to sing to the glory and honor of his name. And so my friends that are on the platform, if it is that you are a broken vessel, we're here and we're willing to reach out to you. A link will be sent in the chat and so you can fill out that and send it back to us. And someone will reach out to you and to pray with you. We want to remind you that you're never alone. You will never be alone because we're here for you. And if it is that you want to reach us via cell phone, we have a number also that you can reach us to. It is 876-773-6258. That is 876-773-6258. Call us. What's up us? We're here ready, waiting to pray with you. At this time, we're going into our intercessory prayer. I will call upon Deaconess Lucille Palmer for her to come and to do that prayer for us. We pray and God delivers. We Hallowed be your great name. We glorify you. We adore you. You are excellent. Mm, you are excellent. Holy God, we come before your presence. We thank you, Lord, that you're never tired of hearing us. And so as we come at this time, we ask for your divine cleansing of all our sins, all our unrighteousness, everything about us, God, that is unlike you, we present to you even now as we come in your presence. Mighty God, you are holy and you bid us to come and to worship you in spirit and truth. And so as we come, mighty God, we present ourselves before you. You know each of us. There's nothing we can hide from you. You know us. You know us, Lord. And so on behalf of those in the physical space and those in the virtual space, God, I ask for your cleansing. I ask for your anointing. I ask God that there be nothing between us and thee to prevent our praises from coming up to you and from your, for your blessings to come upon you. And so, God, I reach out to you on behalf of your daughter. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The one you have chosen to speak to us today. Mighty God, you know her. 
You know everything about her. I ask you now, Lord, that you crucify self and you take over. And God, a special anointed. A special anointing, God, that your words will come with clarity and with power so that as you speak through her, God, we will understand who we are and who we are. And Lord, where our treasure is supposed to be. May we recognize where our treasure is right now. And Lord, when you shall speak, then we will understand where our treasures are supposed to be. We just thank you, Lord, for all that you have done. And we continue to praise your name and give you all the glory for how you're going to be delivering to us today what you want us to hear from you. And minister to each heart now. These are not unmentioned mercies, we pray, in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Savior. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, 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 amen. Give you the glory. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Deaconess Palmer, for that prayer. Our topic for today is, where is your treasure? Where is our treasure? Where are we banking our treasures? Are we banking it in our flesh? Are we banking it in worldly desires? Where are we banking our treasures? Today we have with us a mighty woman of God, one who the Lord has selected to bring the word for us today. And we pray and trust as she comes forward. We pray her strength that she will not do anything of herself, which will follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. I remind you of the theme that we're focusing on. Where is your treasure? At this time, we invite Sister Juliet Smith to come as she will bless her heart with the ministering song. Shall we bless the Lord? Lord. Hallelujah. I want to remind someone here in this physical space, as well as on the platform, the various platforms, that our God is an on-time God. I know there are many times we've been praying for things, And we have had to wait. I've been there. I know what it is to wait. But our God, he is an on-time God. The news came to Jesus. Please come fast. Lazarus is sick, and without your help, he will not last. Mary and the Martha, watch their brother die. They waited for Jesus, he did not come, and they wondered why. The death watch was over, he was buried for days. Lord's on his way. Mm-hmm. 
Arthur ran to him, and then she cried. She said, "The Lord, if you had been here, you would have healed him, and he'd still be alive." Jesus said, Martha, Hallelujah! Oh, just to show me the grave. But she said, Lord, oh, you don't understand. He's been there for days. Oh. The grave stone was rolled back. Oh, and then Jesus cried. Oh, Lazarus come forth, and then somebody yelled, He's alive, he's alive.
the God who is, and the God who is to come. He cannot be compared to any other God. All other gods are the works of men. But the one true living God, the creator of this universe, there is no one like him. Psalm 100 says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all he lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord is God. It is he that had made us, not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pastors. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his holy name. For the Lord is good and his mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. Hallelujah. We are breathing and it is a privilege. We are here alive in our right minds and that is a privilege. It's not because of who we are, it's not because of what we have done, but it's because of the one true God, the omnipotent God, the omniscient God, the creator of the entire universe. He said, let there be, and things came into being. Everything that you and I need for life and godliness can be found in the lion of the tribe of Judah. Isaiah chapter 44 and verse 22 says, Thus saith the Lord your Redeemer, who formed you from the womb. I am the Lord who made all things, who alone stretched out the heavens, and who spread out the earth by myself. Job 11 and verse 7 says, Do you think you can explain the mystery of God? 
Do you think you can diagram God Almighty? God is higher than you can imagine, far deeper than you can comprehend, stretched far wider than the endless ocean. Can you imagine? That is our God. That is the indescribable, uncontainable God that we serve. Living God, as I come before your presence, I thank you for life. I thank you for health. I thank you for strength. I thank you for your mercies. I thank you for your grace. Lord, I lift you up. There is none, absolutely none like you. Father, you know me. You know everything about me. I cannot hide anything from you. You are the living God. And so, Father, even now, I pray that self will be slain and that your words will come forth. Father, prepare the hearts, mighty God, to hear, listen, and make change. In Jesus' name, amen. Today, we'll be focusing on the topic, where is your treasure? And this is a very important question that each and every one of us should ask ourselves. Where is my treasure? Because wherever your treasure is, that's where your heart will be. And wherever your heart is, that will determine where you stand with the Almighty God. There are four definitions for treasure according to the King James Virgin Dictionary. One, treasure is wealth accumulated, particularly a stock or store of money in reserve. Two, a treasure is a quantity of anything collected for future use. And I like this one. Three, treasure is something very much valued. And four, a treasure is great abundance. The questions I want us to ask ourselves today and think about where is my treasure? What do I value the most? What matters to me? What are my interests? What takes up most of my time and my energy? Is God number one in my life? Is he all that matters? I know that there's a song that goes around that we're all singing now. Everybody's supposed to know it. I put you in front, in front of my melodies. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. I make room for two. You and I, Jesus Christ. You are all that matters. You are all that matters. But are we singing a lie? Is he all that matters in our lives? If we answer these questions honestly, we will see exactly where we stand. In Luke chapter 12, Jesus told his disciples a parable of a rich man whose land was very fertile and productive. He began thinking to himself, what shall I do since I have no place large enough to store my goods? The rich man then said, this is what I will do. I will tear down my houses and build larger ones. There I will store my grains and my goods. And I will say to my soul, you have many good things stored up, enough for many years. Rest, relax, eat, drink, and be merry. Celebrate continually. But God said to him, you fool, this night your soul is required of you. And now who will own all these things that you have prepared? So it is for the one who continues to store up his possessions for himself and is not rich towards God. This man was very wealthy and in Jamaican terms would say, things are going for him, things are going for him. But God was nowhere in his thoughts. He simply didn't care. All he was concerned about was his acquired wealth, pleasing his fleshly desires, resting, relaxing, eating, drinking, being merry, living his best life. He thought he was in control of his own life, but he was making big plans. But little did he know that the one who gave him breath, the one who gave him strength to acquire all that he did 
was observing his life. And what did God say? You fool. Tonight, right now, this very moment, your soul is required of you. I am going to take back my breath from you. You don't deserve it, basically. This very night, you are going to die. And that's what happens when you store up treasures in the wrong place. It was all for nothing for this wealthy man because he didn't have Jesus. Acquiring earthly things without God will profit us nothing, nada. This rich man thought his possession was all that matters. But when he lost it all, he realized it was not all that matters. Let us look into our lives. Are we like this rich man? Are we storing our treasures in the wrong places? Are we dependent on our possessions rather than seeking God? Are we comfortable with what we have rather than seeking and yearning after God? Is our focus all about gaining from this world, jobs, opportunities, the education? And is God pushed one side, pushed at the back burner? Are we doing the best for school and for our jobs? But when it comes to the work of God, it's any little thing that matters. Are we saying, oh, I'm not getting a grade, so I don't have to work hard. Or I'm not getting paid, so it doesn't matter. Are we doing that? Where is our heart? What are our priorities? Where is our treasure? Are we living like this world, living my best life, one life, live it up, and God is being pushed at the back burner? If we are not truly living to please God, then we are living in vain. And let us not be deceived by the enemy. He's a deceiver, that's his job. But we should not be deceived by the enemy. The flashy things of this world, young people, it's not all that matters. God is all that matters. Our possession and appearance doesn't matter if we don't have God. With God, we have everything. But without him, we have nothing. As Christians, we have to wake up and we have to realize what truly matters. A true relationship with God. Jesus Christ is all that matters. We might not be stealing, lying, adulterating, fornicating, but where is our heart? We might say, oh, I go to church and I sing and I participate and I, I give an offering, so I'm good. But I'm sorry to say, that is not enough. If we do not have a genuine, and I say genuine because there is so much counterfeit present in today's day, if we don't have a genuine relationship with Jesus Christ, all that we are doing means nothing to God. Absolutely nothing to God. What does the Lord require of us? Micah chapter 6 and verse 8 says, To act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with the Lord Almighty. If we are not seeking him daily, if we are not denying self and dying to flesh daily, if we are not walking upright, if we are not yearning after God, seeking more and more of him every day, then something is wrong and we need to check ourselves while we have time. God is all that matters. And at the end of it all, eternal life is all that matters. In Yahweh, Elohim, our treasures should lie. And the second portion of the scripture read Luke 12, 22 to 34. We went through thoroughly this morning. Jesus said to his disciples, for this reason, I tell you, do not worry about your life as what to eat or about your body, what you will wear. For life is much more than food and the body more than clothes. Consider the ravens. They neither sow nor reap. They have no storehouse or barn. And yet God feeds them. How much more valuable are you than birds? And which of you by worrying can add one hour to his lifespan? So if you're not able to do a very little thing like that, 
Why are you worried about the rest? Consider the lilies and the wild flowers, how they grow. They neither labor nor spin. Yet I tell you, not even Solomon in all his glory and splendor dressed himself like one of these. But if this is how God's, God clothes the grass, which is in the field today and tomorrow thrown into the furnace, how much more will he clothe you, you of little faith? So as for you, do not seek what you will eat or what you will drink or what you will have. Do not have an anxious or unsettled mind. For the nations of the world, the Gentiles, greedily seek these things. And your heavenly Father already knows that you are in need of them. But rather seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you and he said fear not little flock it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom sell your possessions show compassion give to the poor provide money belts for yourself that you do that do not wear out and unfailing and inexhaustible treasures in the heavens where no thief comes near and no moth destroys for where your treasure is there your heart will be also so in essence jesus is saying put me first make me master of your life treasure me and my righteousness and all these things will be added unto you make me lord and savior of your life and i will supply your needs I will take care of you because I know exactly what you need. I am your creator. I knew you from before you were born. I promise you, I will take care of you. All you have to do is put me first. Honor me, trust me, serve me, magnify me, elevate me in your life. Take care of your spiritual walk. Nurture the spiritual man. Seek after me and you will find me. Seek me first and everything else in your life will fall into place. God is not a man that he should lie. If he says it, he means it. And my life is a living testimony of God's grace, of God's faithfulness. And I made a vow to put him first in my life and not worry about anything and just allow him to take care of me. And he has been doing that. Food, clothing, shelter, everything. God has been taking care of me. And I remember in January, I was supposed to pay my portion of the semester's fee. And I was waiting on some money, but that didn't show up. So in January, I had $300,000 plus dollars, um, outstanding. And I said, Lord, I am trusting you. I don't know where it is going to come from. I am not working. I don't know where it is going to come from. But I am trusting you. I trust you with my life. I trust you with my circumstances. I take you at your words. And I wrote it down in my journal. And I started to pray on it. And God provided every single cent that I needed just in time before I take my exams. Every time I pray, every time I finish praying in the evening, I'll get a text. Go and pick that up. And he never sent the whole 300,000 plus one time. Little by little by little by little. And I waited patiently on God. He is a supplier of needs. He will take care of you. He will never leave you alone. All you have to do is trust him. So we have a decision to make. Are we going to seek God, the, um, nurture our spiritual man, and trust him with our lives or, and our circumstances? Are we going to get to know the nature and the character of our God? His love his compassion, his mercy, and his just. That is our God. Or are we going to push our spiritual man one side, 
push God one side, acquire and store up possessions here on earth and not lay hold of our eternal life. We have a choice. God said, trust me and I will take care of everything. Or you by yourself take care of everything and then eternal life, you miss out on it. We have to understand that eternal life is the goal. Eternal life is all that matters. I pray that we'll choose eternal life. I pray that we'll hold on to God and the gift and the hope that he has given us. The present world will pass away. It's not going to last forever. The jobs, the opportunities, the resources, they will pass away eventually. But what we will have is our eternal life that Jesus Christ has promised us. And that is our best life. So let us not be fooled about living the best life. This is not the best life. Murder, crime, violence, pestilence, all sort of things. Watching the news nowadays is so depressing. How could this be the best life? We might not be suffering like some other people, but there are so many out there that are suffering. How could this be the best life? Revelation chapter 21 says, And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be no more pain. Can you imagine? We don't have to cry anymore. He will wipe away the tears from my eyes. No more sorrow, no more death, no more school fee. Those are the former things. This, brethren, this is the best life. Dwelling in the presence of God Almighty. Worshipping him for who he is. The Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. The living God. The one who was, is, and is to come. That is the best life. That will be the best life. And we will inherit it only if we remain faithful. I know it's not easy. But that's why he told us, take my yoke upon you. Learn of me. He knows so we can manage by ourselves. So I'm saying, I don't have any burden, so I can carry yours. He means it. So he provides things for us. So it doesn't matter what we're going through. There is a solution and we can find it in the word of God. I pray that we'll store all treasures in heaven. No one can take that away. I pray that we'll seek after God and the things of God. Now is not the time to be lazy. Now is not the time to have a form of godliness. We're in the end of ages. Now is not the time to play around. Now is the time to yearn after God, ask him for more zeal, ask him for more passion. Now is the time to spread the gospel and now is the time to walk in the will of God. Take my hands, hold me close. I don't want to lose my way save your lord who loves me so give me strength every day i pray for passion i pray for zeal give me more of you lord i want more of you i pray for passion i pray for zeal Fill me up with you, Lord. I want more of you. 
take my will align it to yours i just want to please please you lord in my life holy spirit flow make me more like you i pray for passion i pray for zeal fill me up with you lord i want more of you i pray for passion i pray for zeal fill me up with you lord i want more of you just fill me up with you lord i want more of you God is all that matters. And I just want to encourage you today to continue to seek after God. And remember that where your treasure is, there your hearts will be also. And for those who have not yet accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior, do it before it is too late. We will not always have time time is running out jesus said it's not my will that any should perish but that all come to eternal life that is the will of god for us we have the choice god bless you hallelujah hallelujah where is your treasure. Where are we banking our treasures? What's our priorities? Do we know what God requires of us? Are we doing the thing that God requires of us? I want to thank you, Sister Victoria, for availing yourself to be used by God this afternoon. We pray God's continuous blessings upon your life as you continue to live for him. And continue to avail yourself to share the word wherever you go. God continue to bless you, my dear. For those who are on the platform and those who join us on Facebook, we also want to encourage you to, to find the true treasure. The one that can restore. The one that can heal. The one that can make the way possible. The one that said, let there, let there be, and there was the creator and sustainer of this universe, the king of all kings. Bank your treasures in him. He wants to make you even more happy than you are. He wants to give you a hope of eternity. Will you allow him to use you today? A link will be sent in the chat. And so you can click on that link, load the form, Someone will reach out to you and to guide you through and to pray with you. Just want to remind you that you're never alone. God is with you in all that you're doing. But he wants to take you to a new dimension. Take you out of all the mess that you're in. And to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Won't you make that step? Won't you take that decision to make it right with him and to bank your treasure? In heaven. Also, you can also reach out to us on WhatsApp, which is 876 773 6258. That is 876 773 6258. Send us a WhatsApp, and so we'll reach out to you the very same. Once more, we say thanks to Sister Victoria Richards. We now will stand and sing our closing hymn, which is, Is Your All on the Altar? And are we laying all on the altar? You have 
have longed for sweet peace and for faith to increase and evernessly
platform if it is and you need someone to pray with you a link will be sent in the chat you can click on that link fill out the, uh, the fill out the form and we'll reach out to you and to pray with you god is calling you he needs you he's patiently waiting come my friend and experience the everlasting kingdom thank you lord Hallelujah. Is your all on the altar of sacrifice laid? Where is your treasure? Hallelujah. Glory to God. If there is one or whoever it may be in here this afternoon who does not yet respond to the call of salvation, the opportunity 
Mm. He's yours now, today. If you hear his voice, hallelujah, hard not your heart. The spirit plead today. If you hear his voice, hard not your heart. There is prayer available. Come, if you may. Come while the opportunity is still lingering. Come now. Hallelujah. O oh God, our oh help in ages past, our oh hopes for years to come, the shelter from a stormy blast and our eternal home. Eternal God, most loving, righteous, adoring Father, friend of all sinners, we come to your present this moment, Lord. We give you thanks, we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you glory, Almighty God, for whom you are. Truly, God, you're a God of mercy, love, and compassion. God, you're slow to hunger. You are plenteous in great mercies. And for that reason, God, we give you praise hallelujah because your desire is that none perish hallelujah but that all may come to eternal life god we bless you this afternoon we truly want to say thank you lord for your mercies we thank you for your grace and love we thank you god for the instruments that you have used this afternoon to tell of your love hallelujah and to give the opportunity that others who are not yet saved will run for refuge seek he the lord hallelujah while he may be found call ye upon him while he is near let the wicked forsake his ways and the unrighteous man is taught let him turn unto god because he will have mercy and abundantly pardon father we thank you for your pleading grace love and mercies we thank Thank you, God, that you never desire none of your children to perish, but you said all may come because your arms are open wide. Your outstretching arms are there to rescue every perishing soul. So, God, we thank you for the privilege. Thank you for the day when you did call us, hallelujah, whom you have called out of darkness into your marvelous light. Father, we glorify your name, God. We honor you this afternoon and we say thank you lord for saving our soul hallelujah thank you for making us whole thank you god thank you lord hallelujah we glorify your name and we pray for those who are still yet sitting in darkness mighty god with sins blinded eyes but god hear you pleading evermore we react press with sin the question is asking may i hallelujah come in this afternoon i pray in the name of jesus that somebody someone hallelujah somewhere hallelujah will turn because you will have mercy and you will abundantly pardon father we give you praise again we thank you father for the privilege none will perish that that come to you hallelujah please god we pray pray this afternoon that you will bless their hearts with wisdom with knowledge and with understanding because there is coming a day when hallelujah time change for eternity when pleading days will be over and eternity at last god we pray that you will open the hearts door that are closed that they will swing the door open wide to accept and acknowledge you as Savior and as Lord. We thank you, God, for your mercies this day. We thank you for speaking to us so timely. We thank you for just helping us to understand your words. Hallelujah. That if we sow to the flesh, we are of the flesh going to reap corruption. But if we sow to the spirit, we of the spirit will reap life everlasting. Lord, help us to continue to be true, to be faithful, to be obedient, and to be steadfast and movable, always abounding in your works, oh God. We pray this afternoon that many lives, hallelujah, even though they do not come to the altar, but God, you're right here, there, and everywhere 
We are the heart of this moment. Open the hearts, Lord. You are willing to come in to sup with us. Hallelujah. So please, God, make entrance in the heart of your people. Lord, thank you again for your mercies. Heavenly Father, here we bring before you, God, this another blessing that you have bestowed upon someone. God Almighty, we thank you for your provision. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your kind and compassionate grace. We thank you, Lord, for making the way for this, our brother. We pray in the name of Jesus as we put this this key before your presence lord we ask you in the name of jesus christ of nazareth that you will bless it lord and bless him who is going to use it lord we pray in the name of jesus to cover him under your blood and i pray almighty god that this speaker will be used in the way that souls my god who are out there in darkness will be transported even into your house of worship and where your name is being called mighty god i pray that people will respond to your call wherever this person is who will be driving this vehicle this day we pray god that his life will bless someone i pray that they will be able to come to you give heed to your words give heed to your call and i pray almighty god that you will bless him in a very special way as he uses vehicle god let it be a blessing hallelujah breathe upon this key breathe upon his life and bless him in abundantly god we pray for all your people this afternoon and we pray that your divine holy spirit will reclothe us all in our rightful mind in pure light for your service divine Thank you, Lord. Thank you for the leader, the person who, who moderate this program. God, we bless you. We honor you. These bunch of young people, God, we pray, hallelujah, that your Holy Spirit will continue to manifest your power through their lives, oh God. And as they go from day to day, make them a channel of blessing, Lord, that all those who listen and watch them go forward, God, will come to know you as Savior and as Lord. Do this for us today. Father God, exceed our asking. And whatever we fail, Father God, of asking of you today, please fail not of grant it because we need your mercies. We need your grace. We need your love. And we ask your God to continue to reclothe us and make us truly channels of blessing, pattern for soul that we, as we go from day to day, our lives will be examples as we ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God.